What's up, Bobby? What's up, Bobby? So I just got done with my jog. Obviously, as you can tell, just over a mile and a half. I try to do either two miles or 20 minutes of cardio every morning before I get going with Ghost, just to get that blood pumping, just to get that morning started the right way. So I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna get Ghost, prepping for his walk, show you a little bit of what we do, and let's get into it. All right, so let's see if the big guy's waiting for me. Let's see, how's that stuff? What's up? What's up, Bobby? What's up, Bobby? <laughs> yeah, brothers. Oh, hard headed. Pull. Mechitos. All right, big guy. Back. Flat. All right. Stay. Guy. Inside it, come. Alright, so as you can tell, we got the leash collection. Well, actually, leash and collar selection. So, always got to come through professional, customized word. You know, Ghost always got to be fresh. Got the nice little harness. I usually put this on him every morning, but you know, we're a little strapped for time this morning. So, I'm just going to throw on one of these leash and collar sets. Now, you already could tell we got almost damn near every color. God, we, we need like five more to complete the collection for, you know, males colors. So, you know, I think I'm gonna throw in a little red and blue today. All right, everybody, so I like to get going the night before I like to prep, because if you fail to prep, you prep to fail. That's always been a saying of mine. So I got his bags with us. I usually leave everything out. So in the morning, get everything, it's right there. Get up on out of here. <laughs> Two. Good boy. Front. Good, my babas. Wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? All right, okay, big guy. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Come. Stop. Side. Good boy. All right, everybody, so this is what I'm going to do. Instead of just filming the entire walk, because I don't have a stabilizer, so it's going to be all shaky and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the map my walk app. Just going to track the walk just so you can see the time. And over the course of the walk, I might just give some tips, some things I like to work on every morning. All right, so another thing I like to work on every morning, off leash. Now, some people might tell me, well, aren't you a little afraid to go off leash, you know, with your dog, especially with distractions around? And like I said in my previous videos, especially my leash discipline series, I was working with Ghost since he was... He, since he came home on leash work and I always tell people that to get this kind of work You have to have great leash discipline now some people do it backwards You know whatever floats their boat for someone like me. That's not something I like to get done I like to be sharp I like to deal with probability not possibilities and the probability if he's strong on leash first There's a high higher chance of him being obedient and him staying by me, you know without the leash That's part of our morning routine. I'm gonna show you the ending results of our walk and <laughs> let's carry on with this video. So we just got in from my walk. This was the results. I try not to go too long distance with him in the morning, something light. We got over a half mile, nothing crazy. So usually every morning, you know, we try to get at least a half mile in. If there's more time, we try to get a little bit more, nothing crazy because he walks throughout the day. Our end goal is to get somewhere in between a mile to a mile and a half daily, along with doing the other work that we do. So I'm gonna feed him and then I gotta go about my day. We got his food in place, his water. Get him a can of dry food. Ghost loves this, and it was recommended to us by a good friend of ours in regards to his skin allergy. So, obviously, I'm gonna get ready to go to work. Isn't he? You hungry? Sit. Go. You hungry? All right. Blots. Good boy. Eat, child. Ready. So 
he's gonna go eat, I'm gonna go change over, and I'm gonna leave you off with my wife. So she'll show you what he does during the day. This is Christina. Just wanna show you guys what Ghost does when he's home during the day. He chills on his bed. That's his best life. Hey, Bubba. He's waiting for his dad to come home. So when his dad to come home, Ghost turns up. Who's dad? Is that dad dad? Oh yeah! 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 What's going on everybody? We're back. So obviously as you could tell, Ghost was very excited to see his father. He, <laughs> he loves his father very much. Uh, more so than his mother. Was right here talking about shit. Yeah, out of here, asshole. All right, so you know, like I told you, my five tips for new American bully owners. I practice what I say. And right now, I just got home from work, so you know it's time to go to work. And we're gonna put ghosts with some protection work and bring them outside. You know, have them run around, do what we usually do. I'm gonna show you one example, and then I'm just gonna speed up through the rest of it. So stay tuned. Enjoy the video. So we just wrapped up the protection training. The work wasn't at the level I wanted it to be. You know, there's a lot of room for improvement, a little bit of reactivity, you know, the barking when he wasn't given the command. Obviously at the end of the day, we're trying to make him the best version of him that we can. So it is my job to make him the most balanced dog that he can be. Now, to his defense and my wife's defense, 
it's only her second time handling him with doing that. We had just introduced that element to him maybe last week, I believe, was the first time we actually tried to attempt this. Now, mind you, I have been trying to work with him on this since maybe January or February of this year. So there's obviously some, a lot of things we need to work on, a lot of things that need to be corrected, but we had the foundation set where, you know, we could just make these improvements and get him better and get him very sharp for what we want to do. And I have that bond with Ghost where I love him so much, he loves me so much, we vibe each other, we feel each other out so much that I can do this. Normally, other people, you know, especially trainers, they will tell you, don't do this, get a professional, you know, but I just feel like, I've asked so many trainers things, I have spoken with them, I have done my own research, and I'm at a point where I feel like I have the bond and they tell you, you know your dog, and I know my dog and I know I can make it work with him. So that was the protection work training phase. We need to get improvement on, but it is what it is. Like I tell you, this is not a sprint, this is a marathon. This is not a hobby, this is a lifestyle. This is what we do. Every day it's like this. It's to make him the best dog that he can be. And for all of the dogs that we own or produce, that they become the best versions of themselves. Because at the end of the day, the dog is a representation of the leader. If the leader fails them, the dog looks like shit. But if the leader does well, the dog looks amazing. So. Let's get back into it. Now we're gonna go on to the exercise portion. We're gonna let him run around, maybe do some obedience. So we still got him in the blocks. Discipline and engagement, that's all we can ask for. He can put forth a great effort today. Not as sharp as we want, but still pretty damn good. Given the fact he's tired, the top size is a little bit warm, not a little bit human. Wish I had a little bit more drive, but given the fact that we did some protection work, and then our sprint work, some exercise for him, I understand the fatigue. But right now, it's the last one before we go inside. Come on, Bobbers. <laughs> all right, buddy, so we just got in. Being outside, just gave Ghost his water. So usually what I like to do is after extensive exercise with Ghost, I try to give him 40 minutes to an hour off so that we can make sure that his stomach is good to go. So now we're his past. This is the hair growth supplement we use for Ghost. It's been working wonders. Obviously, like I told you guys in the Allentown video, we had some issues with the skin allergies and you know, put patches in his skin, but you know, he's slowly getting back. Now this is the raw food we give him. 
This is one of the brands that we use. Shout out to my man's Canine Matt for producing this. Ghost loves this. Uh, it's just not even focusing right now. There we go. There it is. Baba, is you ready to eat? So you try to get them two bags. Make sure he gets that protein in, make sure everything is good to go. Because obviously, like as you've seen throughout the course of the day, he's very active and there's a lot of work that needs to be done. So but with all that exercising, he's more net to lose weight. So we have to make sure we develop lean muscle so he gets that nice, lean, bulky, bully look that we're looking for. It's go time. Oh, good boy. Nice little gate. See, we got this little right there. Snap, here. Oh. See how he's going forward, we don't want that. We want to make sure that top line is flat, it's good to go. He's bringing his leg in, no good. We fix these legs, fix the feet. Got the nice fronts that we want. Make sure we're good to go. <laughs> good boy. So usually from here, when the judge checks, we go over all this. We pet him, make sure he's good. Now obviously, I let go of the lead, but you just want to get him to grow familiar with the functions that are going to happen in the show scene. So like right now, the issue that I'm seeing with him is obviously he's, a, you know, not keeping the head straight, but because the blanket is slipping, we don't have a nice base for the back, for the back legs. So we're gonna fix that. And you know, right now, we're gonna do a little gate, show you how I'm trying to work on the gate now when we do a little circle around the ring. So, wanna walk right here? Slow it down, yeah. Stop. Sit! Good boy. You hungry? Eat child ready. Eat! Alright everybody, it's around that time for the last walk of the day where we wrap up the night, then we bring Ghost upstairs to chill. It is a little bit late, 10.30, but you know, he still gotta get his work in and you know, we were too busy watching the football game and we dozed off a little bit. So, I'm gonna document the walk, I'll show you how it all turned out. Probably gonna get another half mile in, finish up with that mile for the day. What's going on everybody, we're back. So, this was the ending result, we just stepped in. Another half mile that completes the one mile total that we aim for daily. But, from here, usually, I clean the bowls, prep everything for tomorrow and then it's right back to the same routine. So we're gonna wrap this up by showing you, you know, the cutest thing, which is when I say it's nighttime for ghosts and he goes right upstairs. And uh, when I say go to bed, he goes to his bed. Babas, it's nighttime. Come on, Bobby, let's go upstairs, let's go to bed. <laughs> let's go, big guy. Sleep. That's all right. All right, Bobbers. All right, everybody. So that wraps up the video. We hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that this gave you a little bit of an in-depth look as to the lifestyle we have, and for you to see how serious we are about taking our training to the next level. Do us a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Check off that bell notification icon. Become part of the family. Stay blessed, bully fam. And hold up. Woodstown next week. 
Northeast Bully Reunion Part 2. You know the energy's real, baby. You know what it catches. <laughs> well, my idea. Stay blessed, Bully fan.